Hi, I'm Allison Pryor, and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner, step by step in real time, so you can follow along with me. And today we are going to do this beautiful sunset view. And I'm going to teach you easy techniques so that you can enjoy your painting. So if you want to subscribe, you will be able to see all my upcoming tutorials. Let's get started. Now the colors that you need for this painting are cad red, cad yellow, burnt sienna, black, and ultramarine blue, and lots of white. You're going to use a lot of white in this one. And um, just put on small amounts of paint so that you and won't the waste The brushes you need are a flat chiseled edge brush. It's a fairly big one because I got a bigger 16 by 20 canvas today. And um, you might even need a bit bigger if you want, but I'm going to try this one. And I got a, a bristle brush, my bristle brush with those nice bristles coming off there like that. That's that one there. I just want to have my name on. And like I say, if you want one, just let me know. And I have a liner brush. So you can have a couple of different sizes of each just to be sure you have enough. And if we need any more, I will let you know. Now, like I said, I have a 16 by 20 canvas. It's a fairly big canvas today. And I have it uh, taped off on the corners here just so we can make it look like it has a little bit of a border. All right. That's that. So let's get started. Now, while the paint is still wet, start pulling up some of these little background trees. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I want to change my brush because that one's not doing what I want it to do. I'm going to try a fan brush with that. You can try another flat brush. Make sure the paint is wet. Pull up these little trees. Little trees first, and we'll get the bigger ones in after. All right, let's get these trees in here. Just pulling straight up, straight up. You can even turn your fan brush this way if you like, or this way, whatever works best. Make sure you get enough paint on there. All right. So the little trees first. Good. Now, now I get that much done. It's not complete yet, but um, we're getting there. So I want to finish up some of this here before I put the trees on. I want to make sure that we're happy with that so far. So I'm going to put my finger in my paint. All right, it's my little finger just tapped in here, tapped into the white. And put it on the back of my finger. And my little finger, whatever finger you want to use, I'm going to put it somewhere around here. And you're supposed to just touch and pull off, but it's not working for me. <laughs> but anyway, you can do it different ways. You can get a little round top and put it on. You can take your brush and put it on, whatever it works. But I found the finger was supposed to be easy. I'm just going to fill it in with a brush here now. <laughs> Looper time. There we go. And I think that's almost a little dry enough for me to put some yellow back in there. Yellow and white. All right. Yellow and white. Let's see. Yeah, it's better. Right down by the moon there. Good. Let me bring some in here. So I probably got a little bit more red than I was hoping to because I think I came, came, I didn't, 
I didn't. Uh, I think I put too much rain on there is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So we'll just fix that up. We'll just put some more yellows. And white. Yellow and white. There we go. Okay, just use chiseled edge and move back and forth. Short strokes or whatever, you know, you can get it on with. It's kind of nice, isn't it? There we go. Yellow and white. There we go. That's nice. Now I think we can move on to the trees. So, trees, um, it's a lot of work to the trees. It's a lot going on there, but we will figure it out. So get the uh, black on your flat chiseled edge brush, synthetic, see? See how skinny it is? And I'm going to use the chiseled edge. Whenever I say the chiseled edge, I always means like right on top of that chiseled edge. Whenever. So if I say use the fold brush, you just flip it around so that it's flat, okay? Hopefully that. So let's go about here. We'll go straight up. Touch on into the black and push, 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 push. Push a little hard so you can get a, a tree that's fairly big. Okay, good. Now, you didn't have enough paint. Put more paint on your brush and just redo that again. All right, up, 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 up. Oops. Oopsie daisies. I'll fix that. I hope. Just make it a little fatter than what it's supposed to be. That's not bad. There we go. So I just want to let you see that in case you make that same little movement and it goes outside and you end up making it. So just go back over it and um, straighten it up. It doesn't matter how big your tree I mean, You can have, you know, a bigger tree than that if you want. So this one over here, same thing. Touch into the black here. Let's give it enough room there for some branches. And touch. I'll make sure I get lots of paint on my brush this time. Touch. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. And make a little crooked at the top there. Now I have to fix that a little bit at the top. Without destroying it. Okay, that's good. Good, good. Now I'm going to switch to my liner brush. Now you should have different sizes, so you'll be comfortable with one that works for you. I'm comfortable with this nice long one. So I'm going to run that. I'm going to put water on it. I'm going to tap it off my tissue, and I'm going to run it through my black. Because it needs to be a little wet in order to move but make sure it's not dripping okay so let's pick out some of the bigger branches so i'm thinking there might be one two three and maybe one over two over there let's look let's look and see so i see one two three on that uh, right side of that tree and a couple on the other side okay so we'll we don't have to be exact so let's give that a try. So we'll start with the bigger branches first and all those little tiny ones we'll do after, all right? Just have to get this where we're going with it. The two trees almost meet, the branches do. So touch and pull out right into the center there. A little more water, roll it into your paint and then tap it off, see if that works better. And then we have another one here. Yeah. 
and if you want the branches a little fatter in here you push harder and then you lift up as you go out and then I think I see another one here wiggle them around a little bit if you want a little more water paint a little one here now we're going to get into putting lots of these on as long as you get the main ones on first you're okay over here shake it around like that whoops it's a funny looking one isn't it <laughs> and we have one coming out here going up going up going up we have a big one coming out here. And we have one coming up here. And another one. There. So they're all over the place, really. And probably another one here and here. So what I'm going to do is make some look like they're a little further in the distance. I'm going to add a bit of burnt sienna to my black. See? Burnt sienna and black. Just to lighten it up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of white. Not much of a change, but just um, make them a little bit different. So we have some coming out here. So now you're going to take every branch and you're going to put a bunch on each branch. Okay, make this so much easier for you. And what you'll do is take one branch at a time. If we can take this branch here and take one off of that, one off of that and put as many on each branch as you can this branch here just put them all over each other because there's a lot of them and if you want me to do time lapse on this I can but um, I'm not sure you'll, if you'll get confused because it is a bit confusing all these little tiny branches I'll show you another way to do it too, but I don't know if if you want to do it that way. I'm going to try it anyway and just show you. But see how I'm taking all these branches off a branch? As many as you can. See? So, in order not to get lost, I just stick to each branch. And I put, it come off the branches that way. It doesn't matter where you are as long as you take them off each branch because if you go here and here and here and they might look really odd this will make it a bit easier for you maybe you need some more water water on your brush roll it in your paint tap it off in your tissue just to be sure you don't rip it all over the place and there and there there see how i'm coming off each branch see that i'm getting lots of them Okay, I'm going to show you what I was talking about. You may not want to do it this way, but I'll show you anyway. So what you could do is you could take a, a black watercolor pencil. Black watercolor, so that way it'll, if you need to go over it again, it'll, see? It'll be so much easier to take a line off a line, same thing, okay? Line off a line, off a line. All right, see how faster it is? still looks good and it's watercolor so it fits in with your painting Oops. right good because we need lots of these lines 
All right, you can also use um, Sharpie with the thin top. You can also do that. Now that, that's not working. It might be dried out or whatever, but you can use a Sharpie or anything black. All right. Let's see, watercolor pencil looks really good works really well like it all right good that's excellent all right but i'm going to use my liner brush and i'm going to water it down a little bit now put more on and if you want to go over it with paint you can just use those lines that you made as a guide see so you could do it with your Sharpie first or your watercolor uh, pencil and then you can use that as a guide to make it a lot easier for you. See, look at that. So line out of a line out of a line. See, and they're in the background then so you got lots and you can even overlap the watercolor ones that you did. As long as you make lots of lines, this will work out really nice. things like that. See? So I'll do the rest of my brush now. See if I can straighten this up a little bit here. It's the angle I'm, I'm on so it's kind of pushing this around. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get something going here. Something's got to give. <laughs> it's a real mess, that one. All right. Now I'm just following those lines that I put on my pencil.
Okay, so if you make a mess like here, when that's completely dry, you can put some yellow sky back in there to take out some of those big ones, those big, big bunch. All right, so I'll let that dry and then I'll try to take some of that out just to show you how to fix it. Let's put some more down here. Let's bunch them down here, pure black. You can use your pencil if you feel more confident, if it, if it makes, you know, it helps. So don't make them completely straight. Some are taller than others. Okay. Crisscross a few over each other. A little more on the bottom here. Make it look thicker. Thicker down on the bottom and thinner at the top. Good. We'll put a few here. Like I say, if you're having a hard time, because sometimes you don't have a brush that will do this, or you're pushing a little too hard and you'll get, you know, big clunks like I did over there. So you can use your pencil, colored pencil, colored watercolor pencil. There you go. This is painting a lot of little trees in it, isn't it? A lot of branches. It's easier when they get leaves on them, isn't it? All right. And this one here really far up into here. All right, we'll get some more down here at the bottom. Just crisscrossing a few down here in the bottom. And now the reference photo I'm using is a lot, not a lot different from what I'm doing, but I can't follow the reference picture right to the T because it's very complicated. So in order for me to enjoy this painting, I have to do it my way. All right. I'll put the reference photo on my Patreon page for you. You'll also have my painting that I did. Just want to show you that it's really difficult to uh, try to follow a, a complicated reference photo because the photo it's actually a photo a real you know real time photo so for you to try and we call it render and try to make it look exactly like the photo is going to be almost impossible well some people can do it but every little tiny branch on a tree it's not that easy I'm going to bring a branch over the moon there, I think, just to make it look. There you go. A few little ones there. There's a few coming up here. A little different in the reference photo. I'm going to do it my way. I'm just going to pull up a bunch like right here. Get that on a second. Fussy about the one in the uh, the reference photo. I'm just gonna make some little tall ones and short ones. I think crisscrossing.
when you look at the reference photo, you can decide if you'd rather do it their way. All right, I think that's good. So you might say, how do you know when to stop? Well, I'm going to stop whether, I mean, there's tons of stuff I could probably still do, but I like it as it is. Once you start looking at it and saying, yeah, I kind of like that, well, then stop. I'm going to try and fix this here. I'm going to go with some white, a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to try take out some of that. Kind of messed it up a little bit. Now, we need more yellow. So you have to make decisions all the time. Constantly making decisions. I'm just going to take all that out. That's my decision now. I was trying to get between them, but I think I'm just going to take it out all together. And then when I try, then I'll put some more back. Try to get my yellow in there. Some more yellow. I didn't wait for it to dry fast enough. But anyway, at least you got an idea. Make sure that you make sure it's dry or you'll get a problem like me. But that's not bad. I got rid of it. Now I'll put them back after. So uh, let me get that back here now. So you won't have to wait. So let's see if I can. I'm just trying to reach over. There we go. That's better. Looks better. while I'm ahead. All right. All right, good. I'll leave that. Now here's what we're going to do next. Now this last um, step, this last step will bring it all together for you. Okay, this is the last step, but I'm going to add some more whites in here just to really brighten it up. But everything else is completely done. You can play around with it. You can look at uh, the reference photo and add more, uh, whatever you want to. This is the brush I showed you with my name on it. Okay, I'm just telling you this because at least you'll get familiar with the brush. Okay, you should be able to get this in a paint store or a Walmart store. If you can't find them, just let me know and I'll... I'll send you one, but I'll have to charge your shipping. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so see how I open up these? Right? See that? A lot of brushes won't do that, see? That's why I like this brush. I love it for, you'll see it in my other videos. It's amazing. So I just tapped it in with my black, and then I'm going to tap on. Now you could do these individual individually with a little... A toothpick and have all these little dots that you need on there just to give it look like leaves but with this brush it's got all those bristles and it does it for you see you don't have to worry about it just a few little leaves to bring it all together see how much better it looks so just put your leaves wherever you know on the top some some inside don't push too hard you know tap off on a piece of paper first to make sure you don't have big blobs all right i'm not pushing too hard I'm just tapping the very tip of my brush because i really don't want to have it overpowered by these Good on that side. Try the other side. It's 
See, it would take you all day to do those individually. This brush here, I mean, does it for you, see? Oops, okay. My hand just jumped that time. I got too many on there, but I, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. So that brings that together, it looks better. Now, we'll put a few on down here too. A few here, and here, and here. See, I'm not doing too many, you can see, I'm just kinda, just giving it an illusion of some leaves. Good. That was pretty simple, hey? What do you think? So let's put a little bit more white Get your flat chisel edge brush nice and clean because you only want white. So if there's any darks on it, make sure it's clean or get a new one, all right? We'll go pure white this time. Nothing on your brush at all except pure, pure white. Pure, pure white. Lots of paint on there. So we need that in here. Back and forth. See how nice and bright that is? Fix up my little loan here. Right, and we got some white going on up here. It's just dry now, so it goes on nice and it'll, it'll stand out more. Make sure your leaves are dry too. You'd want to pick up any there, any black and get it in your paint. Look how bright that is. Look, you almost need sunglasses. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, I think, I think, I think I'm done. I think, I think. You got anything to straighten out or something you don't like? You know, we want more yellow in there. If I was going to add more yellow, I'd, I'd add white to my yellow. A few little touch-ups. A few little touch-ups. It's always nice to pick, pick at your paint again at the end of it when you know it's really good and you really like it. You just want to add a few little odds and ends, but you don't want to ruin it, so just be careful. That is very bright. Well, that's very, very bright, isn't it? All right, let's take off the tape. Let's see what it looks like with the tape off. The reveal. Alright. Adding a little border like this is really nice when you do that to your paintings. Especially with the... Uh, if you're not going to frame them, it's really nice because you got a little border. See? That's pretty. That is very, very pretty. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this painting. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And thank you for my subscribers and my viewers. But look how pretty that is. I like it. I hope you like it. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to get early access, go to my Patreon page. This should be up sometime maybe in June. I think I made it easy. I'm not sure. But anyway, 
enjoy. Got any questions? Just email me, alisonbryer at yahoo.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.